Hello, everybody. Glad to have you back. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. And yes, you're here with me with another amazing, fun, and exciting video. I have already started by prepping our base on our canvas. This is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. We're going to be doing a Dutch pour on it. I've already started with this beautiful deep rose pink, which I created using the Blitcrylic Titanium White, along with the Liquitex Basics um, Cadmium Red Medium Hue. Just mix that, those two together until I got this nice, rich, rosy color. And I'm going to be using some beautiful colors on top of it. Before I start introducing those layering colors, I will pop air bubbles, but I want to tell you that I'm going to be branching out and doing some of the things I did in some of my earlier videos with different types of acrylic pouring techniques. I will definitely continue to do the Dutch pour because I absolutely love it. Um, but in between, I'll be doing some other acrylic pouring techniques that I also enjoy doing, but I haven't had as much, um, I guess, time or interest in doing them uh, because I love the Dutch pour so much. However, I am going to begin doing that and you'll see in kind of, in, in, I guess, in, in between videos, you'll see some of those, um, or you may see them, a Dutch pour along with a different technique within the same video. Just kind of moving in that direction right now. What I would like for you to do is to let me know if there's something specific you like to see. Also, any color combinations or um, acrylic pouring techniques. Let me know. If you have questions, I certainly welcome them. So definitely leave me your questions and um, I'll get back to you. If you can't uh, feel comfortable leaving them in the comment section, my email is listed in the description box along with the layering colors for each of our paintings. So you can always email me as well. But to begin with, we have this 12 by 24 inch canvas and I created this gorgeous um, rose pink color. This is the first for me to be using a bold color like pink. However, I'm not um, afraid of bold colors. I love using lots of rich colors. And I thought I'd try something a little different. So we're gonna be doing that, so here we go. And just a reminder, I wanna say to all of you, we certainly appreciate you being a part of our viewing channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for joining me and supporting me. If you're just viewing, please come on and go ahead and subscribe. We welcome your, your participation and support. And also, thank you so much for just being um, so amazing because I get awesome comments and encouragement through your comments and feedback, and I truly, truly appreciate it. So, we're gonna get going, guys. What do we have here? By way of introduction, we're gonna introduce our colors. We have Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. We have Amsterdam Light Rose. Also, Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, Amsterdam Pearl Violet, Liquitex Basics Chronacridon Magenta, and we have the Artist Loft Old Gold. And we're gonna be laying that on top of this beautiful, rich, rosy pink that we've created. So let's do that. We're going to move forward and see what this brings us. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to try and give our design an opportunity to have both negative space and inside and outside. Let's see, do I want to go this way? Um, maybe we'll go like this. And we'll go this way. Okay. That's our Van Dyke Brown. This is the, uh, let's see, I gotta see what this color is. Light Rose, Amsterdam Light Rose. So pretty, these colors already are looking 
Awesome. Okay, let's keep them in order. Permanent blue violet, one of my absolute favorites. Then we're gonna put this Amsterdam pearl violet on top of that blue violet. Pretty, pretty. And then we have this Crinacridon magenta. So lovely. This color palette is already popping in terms of what it looks like to me. And here we're gonna come in with this old gold. Another one of my favorites. We should see some shimmers and shine with the pearl violet and the old gold helping. We probably will have a few cells in here as well. It's just gonna be really fun and exciting to see what happens because again, I haven't used this color palette before and um, yeah, I'm excited to see what we get out of this. I'm trying to determine right, right now, there's a thinking process taking place as to whether or not I stay with what I have or I go ahead and add a wrap back around color. And if I do, which one of those do I wrap back around with? All right. I'm going to try this light pink, light rose to wrap back around with. All right, we'll move our little friends aside, keep them from getting paint splatters, and we'll torch again, just the air bubbles. I'm always looking for any foreign debris, anything that could interfere with the flawless foundation. Okay, so let's see what we can get out of this. Woo -wee, I'm a little nervous at the same time I'm a little excited because this pink is so pretty but I'm not really sure how it's going to fare as a base color with these colors I think it'll be fine though okay here we go all right where do we want to start there's a little gnat in here he wants to join the party too we can't have that okay goodness that is so pretty I was trying to work to get a little bit more negative space in there in that particular section so that we can have negative space inside and outside and I'm just going to push this out a little bit and hopefully we can put some um, base color in there just lifting up a little bit out of that There's still a lot of paint there but I want to get that negative space there. 
So, so pretty. A lot of paint there, under there. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. goodness those colors are so beautiful and I'm watching the artist off old gold making lots of little clusters of cells in there that are very rich and pretty okay we're gonna just try to fill this in I've got extra paint but I see some runoff that is uh, looking like it could be used and so we'll just fill that in Okay, this is looking really good. I'm very pleased with the composition and the colors are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, I'm going to, for the sake of just giving this a little more color, add a little more of the Cronacridon here. And I think I'll put some of that rose, light rose on top of it as well. And let's see, we also had a little bit of the gold in there. Not using the same order that I put them in initially. And I think I'll put some pearl violet in here. And the last color will be the permanent blue violet. These air bubbles here. Oh wow, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can blow this maybe a little bit to that direction. I may end up coming this way, I'm not sure, but I wanna kinda of fold this over. I could cut that off and just bring that over to this side, I want negative space here is what I'm, I'm attempting to go for. Um, this is not running off. This is barely running off. That is running off. Doesn't really matter. Both sides at, top, at the top are running off. So I could just go ahead and scrape this off and um, see if we can keep it from running off. But if it goes off, it's okay because um, I'm not looking to concern myself with that at this point. I am using runoff paint to fill in. And we'll see where this goes. Okay, we'll see what happens with that. I suspect we'll get some more cells coming in where that um, artist off old gold is and um, that'll be just fine. I'm just touching up here where we had some low level of paint here. And I think I'll just bring you in for a close up and if we have to make any further adjustments we'll do that. But I am loving this. I'm not well, when I look at it, I'm, I'm okay with it here. I guess I'm not as happy as I thought I was about this, the piece we just worked on. So I'm not going to waste any time making efforts to not fix it. I'm going to just layer with paint again, 
Let's see if we can go for that again. enough on there to move it okay I think we got, got all those colors on there let's try that again I really really want to that is so pretty this is pretty just want to fix that and I think I need to have my body on this side so I can really go after that Stretch it too far, I have to keep the plug. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, we better torch that. And then we'll try that again just to see if we can get more to fill in down here. Maybe. Um, I'm still skeptical as to whether or not I have enough paint on that. Well, let's do a little bit of a extra that in that'll help it there's nothing wrong with making adjustments if you feel you need to make them and I did okay so here we have our next way, next round of going this way. so much nicer. I'm much, much more pleased with the flow of the paint. It did go off the edge, which is fine. But at least we have a composition that I believe is a lot more appealing. Just reach under here a little bit and wipe some of this paint so we can retain. Oh, so pretty. It's just really precious. I think it's just really, really pretty. I'm gonna torch a little bit here. But for the most part, I am very, very pleased. Let's bring you in for a close up. Here we are, my friends. We have our close up time. And as you can see, our colors are just amazing. They're sparkling. They're merging really well together. There's lacing. There's a few cells. It's not overly in, inundated with cells, but they're just so rich and so pretty, and they have that iridescent shine on top of them. I love it. Look at the shimmer on top of here. Wow. That's from that, um, I believe that pearl violet and the um, Artist Loft Gold. Look at how rich and pretty those colors are. Honest to Pete. So, so pretty. I am really liking the rose pink background. It came out nice and these colors are just speaking out loud and clear for themselves. All of our layering colors, you can see them here. The Van Dyke Brown, the Permanent Blue Violet, our Cronacridon Magenta, Pearl Violet, Old Gold, the Rose, Light Rose Pink. So, so pretty in here. Wow, here's a full view of it. I'm very pleased with the outcome. I hope you are too. Let me know what you think in the comments and please let me, uh, Know if there's any other color combinations you might be interested in seeing. We can do what we can do and we'll try it out.
Thank you for joining me as always. You guys are the best. Until next time, keep loving your art and we'll see you all on our next video upload. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be informed each and every time we have our videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We welcome you and we certainly look forward to having you join us. Until next time, keep loving your art. We'll see you then. Bye now.